Accept the minutes for October 4th, 2017, regular session. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Citizens input. That heard, moving on. Marshall County Economic Development Corporation monthly report. <laughs> uh, the artist site uh, proposal the project was uh, from IEDC they sent a proposal or a proposal was sent to Columbus Indiana on product development real estate discussion was a, a real estate discussion with a Nathan Johns and on the market on, on the artist Manu manufacturing center sorry uh, Signed, the agreement was signed with RDA and MCEDC. Money's been put to RDA. So the $400,000 is up there waiting for us to use it. And uh, the nice thing was uh, we found out that RDA should have had MCEDC sign a mortgage agreement or something, which they didn't do. So as long as we want to be honest, we give them the 400000 back, but technically it is. <laughs> they messed up on that one. Site design was completed, sent, and that should be here the way I understand it tomorrow. We'll see. A country development for the future. Uh, we did that, uh, that. The next one is November the 15th. Don't forget to tell Jamie. Okay. Uh, internal communications, uh, he was at the Argus Town Council uh, September 20th. Talked to Hensley's about the easement for the railroad access and went also to the uh, INDOT public hearing for the uh, infamous J turns. Uh, our last MCEDC concept up meeting, uh, the priority is will be the Argus shell building and that's the only thing that we're actually uh, presenting any leads to so we're not going to deal with any of the other shell buildings until uh, Argus is filled. Any questions? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, under old business listen to Chuck from Marshall County Building Inspectors. Listen to me? Uh, <laughs> um, as you know, we did get a court order and went into 405 South Michigan Street um, to look at the interior of that um, building. The fear was that it was uh, becoming more and more dilapidated and was in uh, going to be as bad inside as it was outside. Uh, the good news was 
The inside is in better shape than we anticipated. Um, the bad news is the outside roof in particular still needs uh, work. Um, the letter that you have before you is one that if you approve, I would go ahead and send to the owners of that property. Um, you know, well, while we were there, I spoke to him about the roof, all the holes, the locations, and the shape that it was in, um, the water entering the building, the plywood that was deteriorating on, and the roof leaks. Um, water did, has been penetrating. You can see where it's come in. It's uh, deteriorated the ceiling um, that's been in there, the insulation, and it's all mostly fallen down inside the building. And uh, the floors inside show um, signs of standing water. Um, I would suggest that it's my opinion that without proper maintenance, the building will continue to deteriorate and be past the point of repair and will need to be demolished. That's my opinion. Um, it's only a matter of time and it will be there sooner than we think. Um, my recommendations to the dredges would be the following steps to be taken. Have the roof professionally removed and replaced. Remove uh, and replace all damaged plywood and rafters that are inside there. Remove the peeling paint and repaint the entire building. Remove all of the damage and debris from the inside of the building. Um, now, I will say that uh, since the first letter that uh, Mr. Jones sent to him, they did clean up the outside. The old tires that had been there for years and years and a lot of the other um, trash that was back behind it, they did get that cleaned out and taken care of, so they have made some progress. Um, I don't believe at this point that we have a uh, tool or a mechanism that can force them to do anything, but if we give them these recommendations, they don't do that or take care of it, then we can move forward at a later time. So, um, if you have any you questions? You say that? timely manner. Um, that was that, well, yeah, what, what, we, what do we consider in a timely manner? A year? Less than a year? And because this is my opinion, and we're suggesting mm -hmm. and encouraging him to do this, that I put a timely manner because that's the best. So we can that's can't. the best. We really can't give him no. 100 days to No, because he doesn't have to do this. Right? Okay. He does not have to do any of this because the building is not, it's not as bad as the one we tore down. Right. So if it's not at that point, then we can't make him do anything. So okay. what it's saying in a timely manner just puts him on notice that, you know, we'll continue to watch and monitor if he doesn't get it done. So you know, that's all that I think we can do at this point. Uh, any other questions? Okay. okay. Um, just for um, note to the record, um, 505 North Maple Street um, is a property that um, we've been working on and trying to um, track down who owns it. I've spoken to the real estate agent. I let them know that the problems that we have there and the items that need to be taken care of. The kitchen floor is rotted. It has a hole probably eight foot by eight foot all the way to the basement. The southeast or southwest bedroom has a floor rotted through um, all the way down to the ground. Um, the roof is leaking in many places. Um, so if they sell it, whether they try to sell it on a short sale or fire sale, give it away or whatever, the items that um, I've outlined to them are going to have to be taken care of by the next owner. 
where we move forward with that one also. Okay. Any questions about that one? So where's the exact status of that right now? It's, they have the real estate agent is working with new owners since we first started. Okay. There are now new owners and so the real estate agent is working with them on deciding what they want to do with them. So, and so that, that'll be ongoing for a while. Um, there's another one, um, and I'm sorry I don't have the address on the other side of Maple, North Maple Street, and um, Jamie and I have been working on that with the electrical for about, I don't know, nine months or a year. You know which one I'm talking about, Andy? The um, oh, is that? Brown House. Is that Morris's? Yeah, so they they oh, had a... I think like 518? Uh, might be, yeah, that's probably yeah, right. So. It's on the other side. Um, they had a, an extension cord or a welding cord that came out of their meter base and ran back around to their panel and a lot of other things that were going on. We stopped that once the power was turned off. They have done some upgrades, but not to code, so we're not turning that back on or allowing anybody to live there until it's brought up to code as far as the electrical goes. Um, and in speaking about the 405 South Michigan, um, we have another property um, that is similar to that, it appears to be an old gas station, service station, or something at 198 South Michigan Street. Um, no. no. So the first one by the BM. Oh, right by the oh, door. Yeah. Right oh, the yeah, yeah. Oh. And the outside of it looks worse than 405, to be honest with you. Um, but it's your pleasure, whatever you want to do with that. Maybe a letter encouraging them to do some maintenance on the outside and get that fixed up. The owners are JT Enterprises yeah. from Mishawaka. Yeah. Okay. And then there's another one that's across the street, 201 South Michigan. Um, there has been some cleaned up around there, but the building is um, peeling and uh, falling apart there too. So it's similar shape to the other two buildings. And that's owned by uh, Seth Overmeyer. So at your pleasure, whatever you guys want to do with those two. But they'll be continuing to uh, go downhill if we don't. We should try to encourage them to do some cleaning and straight. Yeah. I know at 198, I walk by the frequently. There's a dumpster. And often it's broken glass outside of the dumpster, trash on the ground around it. They don't always... Do they use the building at all? Not to my knowledge. But the dumpster is used by a relative or someone. Okay. Is used. So that's my report on unsafe and where we're at on each other. So if you have any questions, let me know. Okay. Um, and let me know what you want to do with this letter, whether you want to send it. I can send it certified. Um, if that's what you want, if you would choose to have the attorney um, go through it and send a letter, that's fine with me too. That's hurt my feelings, but I think the best we can do at this point, we got the stuff outside cleaned up. We can encourage them to get the roof fixed, um, but I don't think they have any money. So we did see in there that I said that if they were unable to take care of it, perhaps we should put it up for sale. Mm -hmm. so. <clears throat> On these other buildings, do you have any suggestions? Um, well, where to go I, next? I think with um, 198 and 201 South Michigan that we send them a letter in explaining the eyesore and that sort of thing to them, okay. asking them to try to bring the exterior up um, to a better condition. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Excuse me, who's the one? The one across the street the little one. The one that I, the one that 
out of the screen. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Are we wanting to send this letter? Okay. I think we should. Yes. And and because coming from him, we still. Yeah. Um, he did the inspection. Right. Right. And it's from the building department, so. Yeah. I make a motion. We have Chuck uh, the County Building Commissioner uh, send a letter to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Drudge, uh, certified mail concerning the, uh, his building and what should be done to take care of it. Second. <clears throat> we have a motion and a second that we have Chuck DeWitt, the uh, County Building Commissioner, send this letter recommending what needs to be done to the building. Time my manner to Randy and Cindy Roach. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Do we want to address these other two? I would like to. Yeah, we keep letting stuff said. It's just going to be, yeah. So whatever you want to do, Suzanne, come up with a good plan and let's do it. You suggested a letter, just putting them on notice. Yeah, put them on notice. I think it's the first step, and okay. and you know, hopefully we get good cooperation and have it taken care of. Okay. I move that Chuck send a letter to 198 South Michigan and is it 201? 201. 201 South Michigan. To both places. Second. Right? And a motion and a second to have Chuck DeWitt send. Letters to 198 South Michigan and 201 South Michigan to put them on notice to clean up their properties. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Board openings, Marshall County Tourism and the Planning Commission. If you're interested, submit a letter to Lisa. Treasure. Uh, fire contract agreement. The townships had their meetings and voted on the agreements. accepts the Township Fire Services Agreement as it is written. Is this the Township that we're talking about? This is the Fire Services Agreement between... Oh, well, it okay. says Township Fire Services Agreement on top of the paper that I've got. You have three There are different three different agreements. ones in there. There's three of them. You need yeah, to know the Fire Services Agreement. Hmm. Or the fire, well, yeah, fire services. Uh, so you probably have your one to the fire department. It's called the two townships. Okay, to the town. yeah, yeah. Argus Fire. Yeah, yeah, I can show you Okay. Argus Fire between us and the Argus Volunteer Firemen Incorporated. Yeah. Okay. Well, I make a motion that we accept the agreement, fire services agreement, as it is written. Motion and a second to accept the Argus Township Fire Services Agreement. Any further discussion? Yes. I see this goes back to January 1st of this year. Yes. So that is okay, the year of seven, 2017. Okay. And also it mentions an annual roster of certified firefighters. Does the town have that? I don't believe that we do. 
I don't have one. So the office does not have that. I don't believe so. Uh, I've given Susan all the names and numbers, so they have a list of firemen. It's basically the same one Mark gives out to all the firemen. So. Is it, is, is it the same one that's on the back of all the fire lines? What is it? Hey, a certified list of firefighters? Yeah, your roster. Yes. Roster. Okay. Roster. 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 roster of certified firefighters. Okay. I do get, on the back of their um, fire runs, they have a, a roster of listings, so you know who was attending that one. I have that list, but I usually give those back to you. Yes. So, so actually, you do need a regular list. Probably would be a good yeah. thing. Well, and you gave me a physical list this year. It's the same thing, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Employee Appreciation Dinner. Do you need to do the other two units as well? Let me look. Well, Randy obviously saw the Township one. Mm -hmm. There should be an EMS. There is. There's an EMS appointment also. Yeah, there's an EMS. That's the place there's for us to sign. So EMS service agreement. I read this one earlier today. So, yeah. All right. So I'll make a motion that we accept the EMS service agreement as it is written. Okay. Got a motion. Second. And we got a second to accept the Argus EMS Township. Agreement. Any further discussion? This does not mention the roster. Is that something that would be good to have? Yeah. Because you know about it. Yeah. We can make sure you get a roster. Mark can make sure you get a roster. <laughs> Actually, I think there's a roster listed on the website, too. The EMS of certified. That's yeah. a fire All station. our members are certified. Okay. They're not true firefighters until. Now, this is EMS. Oh, EMS. Yes, yes there's those. There's those on there, too. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now we'll go to the fire department. Fire Township Agreement. That's the third one. Yeah. Motion to accept the Township Fire Services Agreement as it is written. I have a motion. Second. And a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That's all three. Appreciation dinner. Let's see, got a list. Um, I know that there's uh, Christos, there is Swan Lake. Swan Lake. So why don't somebody make a motion? Let's see where it goes. 
I move that we use Swan Christo's banquet hall. I'll second that one. Yeah. On Friday. Um, December eighth on Friday evening. Yes. Yes. On me too. And uh, Julie Stoffer said that date was fine to do so. But towards the other one, I don't see an answer from. We have a motion and a second to do the employee appreciation dinner at Christo's Banquet Hall on Friday, December 8th. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Any other real business? All right, we're going to move on to new business. Resolution 2017-11 Power Tracker. Suzanne just brought this to my attention. It should be a negative amount on that second page. We'll get that corrected. What's this rate adjustment? Yeah, it doesn't say plus or minus, right? right. I move to accept resolution 2017-11. You got a motion. Second. And a second to accept resolution 2017-11 power tracker. Any further discussion? The negative needs to be added to the rate adjustment. Right. With the adjustment of the negative. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Now we're going to back up because it's not on here. Do you have anything for the attorney report? Do not. Okay. I just want to make sure. No, it's fine. <laughs> Some of you know, I do work uh, with Culver, um, help them with their planning commission meetings and BZA and other things, and I am pretty close to them. This afternoon, and I don't know how many of you know this, but they got a call from the Lieutenant Governor. Um, they were awarded the Stellar Community Grant. Um, that's going to mean somewhere between six to nine million dollars to that community um, over the next three to four years um, and that just got me thinking of course I'm excited for them and you know there's going to be a lot of things going on down there but I'm thinking there's a town of maybe around a thousand to eleven hundred people um, that put this together now granted it was a lot of work they worked on it for uh, two years to get there the first year they didn't make it second year they did and I know Suzanne has been down at their meetings and she was at the presentation when they did it mm -hmm. but I'm thinking why doesn't Argus do this why you know we talk about getting you know some development going in both commercial and, and residential we talk about um, you know fixing places up cleaning it up making this a better community and there are a lot of strides being made that way but I know the town of Culver has said that they will help any other town any other community in this county with their experience and guidance on how to make this work you know I am just bringing this up because I think you should really, really consider this. And right now would be the time to start on next year's um, application and get going. You know, you can put together, you know, talk to Jonathan down there, anybody else that was on the committee. Um, you have as many or more resources, you have more people, and you have a wider variety of needs to meet and and uh, things that you can put in your application to help 
you know, get that grant. Um, if you spend a year and you don't get your get the grant on the first time, you know, you try it again, the same as they did. You know, you try to make things a little <coughs> better or more uh, encompassing in, in their uh, project. Um, I think with Culver, one of the things that it did was make them aware of not only things going on in the community, things that could be done in the community, but it made them all aware of each other and they work together as a group. And, you know, you saw it down there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a very good presentation, very good group. And, you know, you can keep either taxing or taking or however you want to look at it from the people here to try to make things move and go, or you can go outside and have other communities help give you what you need here. You know, with this new manufacturing building, you know, you've got the, the uh, residential site up there going. You know, there's a lot of things that you could point to here. You know, the trailer park is a, a huge one as far as improvements that the town's made, the, the park and everything else. I would encourage you to apply for the Stellar Grant um, and see where it can go for you. That's all. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Jennifer Vandenberg worked with Culver, and she will be here next Tuesday evening. But she will, I've been working with her monthly, and she would be more than happy to give us anything we have. She's our liaison to Oprah. Okay. It's, it's Tuesday the 31st? No. Because there's supposed to be a 24th. 24th, that's not right. Oh, it's, I'm a week ahead of yeah. It's the ABC meeting at the next downtown at 7 o'clock, but she will be facilitating that. That's a business, a meeting of businesses in our house. Tuesday at what time? Same. But she would probably be willing to meet us before that if she's able. She'd be able to talk to us specifically about some things. What do you think? She would the other guys and say, to George, okay, let's also meet with her. What's in the I'm going to be meeting with her anyway. <laughs> talk to her. Okay. I mean, I've been meeting with her on a regular basis okay. for almost a year now. September, 37 traffic arrests, wrote five ordinance tickets, took 45 code enforcement actions, and 16 criminal investigations. The only other thing I really have is that I'd like to, our department is finally kind of almost done with the, the work they're doing inside. It's really nice and kind of want to publicly thank Dean Kohler who did it and his daughter. And they spent so much time there, I started thinking they were part of our department. But he was outstanding and um, did a really good job. And so did Jamie and his guys that they came over to help us with some things too. Which turned out really nice. Just to follow, was well needed. follow up on what he's saying, I've been over there too checking. You know, before the building, there was kind of a band aid fix to get rid of this mold. Well, it didn't work. Well, this time, it's they took it apart and fixed it right. Now it still needs a little, there's some stuff that may need to be done, but I tell you, it's probably the best that building, shape that building's ever been in. Well, and with what Jimmy did at the beginning of the year with our evidence room helping us with that and the storage and then the, the new, that we use some of that, the, the, the entranceway, some of that space yeah. there, the yeah. lobby, really helped us out a lot. So I want to thank those guys, they did an awesome job. 
Could you get a hold of the people down on the um, corner of the on Albert Street? Yeah, Albert Street. Yes, I sent them a letter. That I'm assuming that guy's an old elderly gentleman. Um, I got a thing, for, an email from his son. It took a while. They moved, so it had been forwarded, and he's taking care of it. And so I had an email conversation with him just the other day, and he's supposed to take care of it. Thank you, Clark. Well, thanks. Good. Utilities? I think you guys have Jamie's report. Uh, I've got a couple things to add. And you guys have questions, I'll try to my best to answer them. Right. I'll answer them, they just might not be the best to answer them. So. <laughs> Today sounds like we got a couple files maybe leaking. Suzanne found. Um, tomorrow we're gonna go out and fix some diffusers and uh, aeration tanks out of the uh, sewer plant, and then probably Friday or Monday he'll start filling that back up. And by the end of next week we'll be 100% back online. That job will be 100% completed then for the for the sewer department. Um, we're waiting on Wessler's paperwork back on the drainage for Westview Court. Um, today I went out and shot some elevations from our eight inch drain line we found. Harry and I found the, uh, Jamie and I, Harry dug and then looked for the eight inch drain that's supposed to go over to Westview Court. Uh, we found a drawing that just happened to be tucked away somewhere that nobody knew about and we found it. And we were about three feet shy of where we stopped digging because of the volume of water dried up a little more. We were able to get it, we found it. Um, it looks like I have about four and a half foot of slope to work with. So with the numbers I rated and things, we may possibly be able to start at uh, the drain that was put in at uh, Clinton Street. And we may need to get some right away agreements, but it looks like we can drain Clinton Street all the way down to the park, set structures, manholes, in Westview Court, probably take care of that <coughs> that way. Um, I'll have to get with uh, Doug, no, uh, Curtis at the county and make sure we can add that water to there, see if we can get a permit. So, depending on what Wessler shows up with, and what we do, we, we, we are getting the start of a good thing to get rid of some water down there. Okay. So, uh, and then the other day, uh, Donnie from, I believe it's MACOG, sent a uh, email out to us. The state is doing some rule grants again, 80-20 match. Town comes up with a 20% match um, for sidewalk work, ADA sidewalk compliance. Oh, really? And Lisa and I and Jamie kind of talked, and if it's all right, all right with you guys, we would like to go ahead and, and Jamie and I will go through find If all we do is just the intersections where we need the curb done and, and the ADA compliant stuff done and not the straightaways, we can do the whole thing too, but we thought that would be at least our first. We have till, I think it's November 22nd to get the paperwork in. Lisa has to go to one or two classes to get some information, but if it's all right with you guys, we'd like to see if we can try for another one because I know there's money tucked away for sidewalks. And Yeah, yep. I agree. I, <laughs> I got a little bit of a drawing here if anybody wants to see it for the Westview water thing. So I'm going to look at it whenever. Take down my no fishing sign. <laughs> Be less frogs in the world, that's for sure. Okay. That's all I had. Jamie's hopefully out 
enjoying vacation. So much needed one, <laughs> I think. Do we want a motion on the sidewalk to have them proceed to well, the sidewalk? Do, okay. Yeah, I'll make a motion that we have uh, Doug Jamie, whoever needs to do it, to start trying to get us a grant to do this ADA sidewalk compliance. Second. Got a motion and a second to have Doug, Jamie, um, Lisa go to class. Everything that needs to be done to get a grant to do the ADA and the 8020 grant for sidewalk and place. Okay. I think that covers it all. Yeah. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And we went through a church Mallies up to the turn back. So if we missed somebody's, let us know. That's all true, yeah. Fire and EMS. We have a report. Uh, <clears throat> we did have the truck service. Uh, everything did pass again. A few minor things that we'll have to fix. All in all, it went well. But we do have to take four, Hanger Ford through the shop in um, St. John's. The service tech backed it in the building and hit the building, tore the bumper off. So I didn't tear it off. But been it pretty good, so we have to take it, have that replaced. Um, that probably be going this week, next week. That's about it. That's not, not the us. And it doesn't, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'd like to say, though, this, this Friday, on a different note, that um, Tenderloin dinner out here at the park for the festival. Anybody that needs tickets, we have those. And then uh, the following week, there's some wars in the park. Um, that's a free deal there. So bring your kids out and join in, have some fun. That's on the 28th. So just a few things going on in town. If we don't have a ticket, can we just show up? You can show up. This Friday, yes. Or you can see me after this, I'll be at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, motion to accept the department head reports. Uh, make a motion to accept all the department head reports. Second. A motion is second to accept the department head reports. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Claims 1102 to 1161. There was the total docket of the docket was three hundred and forty thousand three hundred and sixty dollars and sixty-eight cents. Top five claims. The first claim was to EMB paving for 186,359.13. Second claim is payroll number 20 for a total of 35,197.56. The third highest is for protective coatings, total of 34,483.64. Fourth, highest claim was Nolan Morrison Insurance for Women's Comp, $25,923. And the fifth largest claim was Indiana Department of Revenue over the Village Property Sales Tax for Electric and Water, um, $1,764.68 for a total of $293.728.1, which is 80% of the total profit. Move to accept claims 1102 through 1161. Second. And a motion and a second to accept claims 1102 through 1161. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That payment P and B, we got a grant and that covered 140 some thousand of that, right? Correct. That yeah, one another fund, but yeah. yeah. basically reimburse ourselves so I can reuse right. it again next year. Okay. Make, make, a mo to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Got a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.